Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. So we have manipulation here. We have this manipulator will make you feel special by telling you what you want to hear. Ooh. So either this is somebody that's already in your life or somebody that's coming towards you who's going to be uh, making some empty promises. They're going to be telling you what they know that you offering you, which they know what you want, offering you what they know you want with no intention of actually giving that to you. Um, gassing you up, things like that is a means to try to get their way in a situation. We have manipulation again. Purposely takes a long time to respond or they ghost you to place doubt in your mind. So if that person goes a long time without talking to you, answering back your text messages, they're doing it on purpose. When they ghost you, it's intentional. This person is trying to uh, mess with your head. See, we have paranoia. Suffering from paranoia, paranoia just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad. So this person is afraid that you're going to cheat on them. Or like do, do something to betray them or something like that. Interesting. Cheating. Oh, so they could be a sex addict. It says the sex addict, they have a hard time controlling their sexual urges. Wow. Cheating. They often fantasize about another person. It's only fantasy for now. Mm -mm -mm. Manipulation. They twist the facts by altering reality with lies or misstatements in order to confuse you. Ooh, you're dealing with a gaslighter. A gaslighter, just a whole, a, a very manipulative person. Tell me more. Cheating. Again, physical cheating. They are sexually involved with someone else. Mm. Mm -mm. we have manipulation they say one thing but do another giving you mixed messages yeah let's do a few more we have cover up they are trying to cover up their cheating with lies we have cover up and right after that they wear a mask and pretend to be something they are not online flirting social media or dating sites mm -mm -mm. control their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities. So they like to have control over you. But look at all this stuff that this person is doing behind their ear back. Lying, they're cheating, they're, yeah, double in disguise. Yeah, this person may seem like kind or they may even be the type of person where they've done something to you, but they try to like make you feel guilty. Like, oh, like I have like some, I have this going on. I have that going on. But like, it says they will give you the world to blind you from the truth. So yeah. Manipulation again. They use the situation to make guys. <laughs> what did I just say to you? Look what this card says. They use the situation to make you feel guilty for expressing your concerns in the first place. I just said that. They make you feel guilty when you don't give in to their desires. <laughs> Wow. So this person guilt trips you. Yeah, they try to make it seem like your their problems and their wants and their needs are more important than yours. They diminish your problems and play up their own. Yeah, we have anger problems here. They have a lot of pent up unresolved anger issues. And then I'm not gonna do any more of these, but we have cheating again. If it, it was it was a one time mistake and now feel regretful. What? What do we, they are especially, so there was one person, they slept with somebody else. So this person's hiding from you that they slept with another person. Oop. And I don't think, they may, it may have been only one time that they physically slept with somebody, but they were talking to other people on dating apps, social media. Let's do, so they said two more. Argumentative. So this person likes to argue. They love to argue and create drama where there is none. And we have abuse. Emotional abuse. They undermine your sense of self-worth and or self-esteem. Self and we have manipulation again. They refuse to commit to anything or give you a straight answer. Yeah, this person's controlling. In an effort to control your behavior, they lie to you. Yep, they, they try to do things to make themselves look better than they actually are. They embellish. To impress, they are embellishing parts of their life to impress you. Wow. Pathological liar. They lie to you on a regular basis. It's best to let them go. Yeah, there's some type of money, way that they get money. They're a leech. They're either using you for money or there's somebody else that they use for money. There's something that they're hiding from you about money. 
Because we have, yeah, they, they will suck the life out of you when, they, when they're around. Yeah, they have a secret credit card or hidden money that they're hiding from you. What about secret money? I think there's a secret source of income. And I think it's, yeah, what is secret money? They put you down labels or judged you to attack your self-esteem. Yeah, there's somebody here, a secret friend. Yeah, there's somebody that they have around them that they're using for money or that gives them money. I don't even think that they sleep with this person. But there is somebody else that they have cheated on you with or slept with. Or I don't know. It says there's a secret friend, secret meetings or chats. It's in the early stages. Nothing has been caught, crossed. So, yeah, they do have somebody that they use for money that it's like, sorry, guys. There's one of those loud trucks out here. Gossip. They are complaining about you to others. Wow. They are trying to get sympathy or empathy from you. They, like, try to gossip about you. To make like they get like they have like people around them that they talk shit about you to, or that they tell half truths to to make it seem like they're the victim and that you did something to them so that they can get like sympathy and empathy from those people. Yep, here confirmation. Okay, I'm not looking at any more cards in this deck after these ones, but I do believe that these are a message because it's confirming what I've already said. So it says there's an emotional connection with someone else. Why do I feel like there's? It's like there's one person here that they they're with because. Oh my God, guys, when I tell you I have had enough of these loud trucks out here <laughs> and like, I, I just can't. Um, and they're like, they do that on purpose. It's not like on accident. Like they're out there revving their engines on purpose and they like race down the street and it's it's crazy. But um, I, I think that there's one person that they have an emotional connection with and then there's one person that they're using for money. There it is again, guys. Hold on a second. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think this person has multiple people and they get something different from each person. Um, we have sneaky behavior, criminal mind. They could engage in some criminal activity, theft, fraud, or even illegal dr drugs. And then we have secrets. Dependent. Could be they're only with you for financial, sexual, or emotional reasons. Like I said. So... Either they're with one of you. I think that they're codependent on whoever they're with. It's not even just. And this, I told you I wasn't going to look at any more cards, guys. But when I saw all this energy, it was screaming narcissist. And look what came out. The narcissist. They cheat to feed their own ego and feel entitled. So, yeah, they're using you. They're using other people. Um, I do think that. Let's see. I'm not going to even say what, you know, speculate how they feel. Uh, let's see. Um. Hmm. Let's get some tar tarot out here. Um, what I want to use. All right. Give me a um. Why is this what's coming coming out for them? We have the seven of wands. This could be somebody that you're already protecting yourself from. Or spirit says there's a need to protect yourself from this person. Set boundaries. Some of you guys have blocked them or you will end up blocking them. Four of swords. Yeah, I do see you going into no contact with this person or you already may not be speaking to them. What is up with these cards? Okay. We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. Ten of Swords. Hmm, what is happening here? Clarify the Seven of Wands, the Page of Wands. I do see block communication. Um, if it's not that. This person is about to maybe message you. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. This person is empty. Yeah, this person is empty. They're, they have like a huge void within them. And they like... They're feeding off of you and all these other people to help them fill this void. And it's just... It's gross. Tell me about the Emperor, the Eight of Swords. 
Somebody's a control freak. Clarify the Ten of Swords. The Knight of Swords. What? What about the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Moon, okay, Pisces Energy, and the P King of Cups. What about the King of Cups? The Seven of Cups, they're confused, or they're not seeing something clearly. They're in an illusion that what, or they're delusional about awakening. Mm. Are they waking up to something here? What are they waking up to? Oh, two of cups and the six of cups. Uh-oh. What does this mean for my collective? The ten of wands and the lovers. Gemini energy. What about the lovers and the ten of wands? The star, the chariot. I feel like whoever this de very devious person is or whatever, they were devious. I don't know about now, but... They have awakened to something and it has something to do with this connection with you. And um, I feel like this person is going to be taking action towards you. They're making a decision to release some things here. Yeah, they're making a decision to release some things to be able to come in and try to heal things with you. Um. Yeah, Knight of Wands in the back of the deck. This person was lustful. They, they're all oh, they're wanting to let go of their player ways. It's like they're trying to get their themselves under control. Yeah, it's like they're trying to get this sex addiction or this like lustful their lustful ways their player ways under control. Like they don't they want to let that version of themselves go. They're they're trying to find the strength to do this, like the self control, the discipline. Yeah, the magician. Because like they want to manifest something with you, but they're moving very slowly. Yeah, they do want to manifest something with you. Invest in you. Have a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. They do want... But it's like this person... This is literally somebody that's overcoming a sex, a sex addiction. They're trying to like fix a sex addiction that they have. Like be able to control their sexual urges and things like that. Because they do view you as somebody that... They do feel like they have love for you. They're, you are somebody that they would like to be in a relationship with and they would want it to, they do want it to be successful. But they know that until they get this addiction under control, you guys are never going to be able to have a successful relationship. Like, you know, it's that's pretty much what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Anything else out of the tarot? The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, and the King of Pentacles. What's this? All these kings, the Page of Swords. Oh, I think this person is trying to see. Oh, yeah, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles and the Empress. Maybe you guys have options, too. King of Pentacles, King of Swords here, Page of Swords. Or they're, they're spying to see. Or they're curious to know if you have options. What does this have to do with you? The Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. What's the, this person knows they're going to have to fight for you. Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person feels like you're focused on other people or other things. Ace of Swords, the World, and the Ace of Pentacles. They definitely want a new beginning with you. So, mm -hmm. um, Three of Swords, what's it with you? The Hermit, Temperance. You guys have just been healing. Yeah, what about the Ten of Pentacles? The Seven of They want to try to have like this long-term stable union with you. Yeah, they view you as their happily ever after. Something is changing. Yeah, something is changing. See, I feel like you've changed though. Mm-hmm. With the um, it's like you've kind of gone from being like the Queen of Cups to this with this person to the Queen of Swords. More guarded with them now. Because they they were deceptive. They were trying to hide that they were still trying to maintain a sex addiction while also dealing with you. I think that they knew that they had an emotional connection with you. And, and not only was it that, I think that there were people that they were using for monetary things too and possibly even you. If you've given per this person money, yeah, then you know, you know if it applies to you or not. So um, let's see. Like, I don't know, like, well, are they doing anything to... Are they going to rehab? Like, what are they doing? Are they in therapy? Are they going to rehab? I'm trying to find the deck that I want to use, and I don't see it. Give me one second. Okay, I see it. 
Are they doing anything about this addiction that they have? Basic. Plain and simple, insult, unoriginal, unexciting, mainstream and taste. Tell me more. Okay, but uh, I don't think that they're they're actually resisting this. Give you know giving up this addiction. That's crazy. So yeah, I mean I know that addictions can be hard to, to conquer. So and then they have people around them who think just like them. Yeah, tell me more. You have the you have the green light. Go for it. extreme satisfaction, approval. Yes. So. See, it's like there's something they got people around them egging them on to do some to do what? Oh, well, are they, are they starting to realize what struggle is real? Hitting a rough patch in life, frustrating situation, not easy, setback, annoyed. It's like they're mad that they listen to some dumb people around them to do. What were these people telling them to do? To leave you? Wow. Leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast. Wrap it up. So why are they mad now that they listen to these people? Why are they mad that they walked away from you? Because they feel like you're doing well without them. Or they feel like, what about slaying what? Spilling the tea. Something juicy, hidden, true, disclosing information, slander, gossip, shocking, untrustworthy. I don't know. It's just like they have these people around them saying that they did the right thing or it was the right thing for them that they left you. But why are they feeling like that was the wrong choice now? Because look, you're you're getting a lot of attention. Many look up to you. Public recognition, recognition the spotlight, famous, popular Instagram fame. So they feel like they made the wrong choice because they somebody influenced them to walk away from this. They feel like you. they should have made you the priority. They should have put you first now. Yeah, because they're seeing that. You do, you do very well for yourself. It's like that somebody's watching you do very well for yourself. And they feel stupid for walking away from somebody that had it to get. Like, you really got it together. And they feel like an idiot. They're waking up. Like, they've been in this illusion. Like, oh, you know, they, like. They've been delusional about you, thinking that they made the right choice and they were going to find better and that, I don't know, what did they think was going to happen? Like, their perspective has changed and now they're wanting you guys to be together, but the relationship is already dying. And I don't know why they're sh shocked by this. Like, they're salty that you're not really, like, giving them any of your attention. You blocked them. You could have even called them out on something. Why are they mad? They walked away from you. Why are they mad that now you're just going about your life and you're not focused on them? Yeah, they're mad that you went in and you just you're dismissing them or you're not acting like you're interested. I don't know if these people told them to do this so that you would chase them. What did they think the outcome was going to be? Yeah, it's like almost wow. <laughs> Guys, this person thought that if they walked away from you, this person is delusional. This person really thinks they're the prize. This person that literally mooches, this is a bum. This person literally mooches off of everybody. They have multiple people that they have to mooch off of and use. They're like, I just don't even know. Like, this person is a mess. And they had dummies around them telling them that if they walked away from you, it was going to make them real, make you realize, or it was like going to make you chase them and realize that that make you realize that you should have felt lucky to have them in your life like they were the blessing this is wild and then now you're not chasing them instead of chasing them and begging them to stay in your life and acting like you couldn't live without them you just left them the hell alone and they are salty this person wanted you to stroke their ego yeah this person wanted you to stroke their damn ego and instead you they feel like you threw you're throwing shade at like they feel insulted by the fact that you're not chasing them and you don't see them as a blessing to your life. What value was this person adding to your life? Remember earlier we had the energy vampire card. I, I don't know where it's at now, but we had the energy vampire card. This person was draining you. 
you should have been blessed felt blessed to have somebody in your life that was draining the hell out of you that was adding no value to your life like they're a loser and they have losers around them that's all i can say that's crazy yeah mood what about mood staycation so some of you guys have just been what about mood salty <laughs> the topic of or how your feeling is relatable to them oh what a, what a staycation you guys are being more stingy about your energy yeah you're kind of just you're letting this die yeah a relationship situation is dying conversation went dead can't resurrect lost interest and they're salty they're wanting to know how you're feeling or because the, now they, they feel like this is they believe in the relationship, wishing you stay together, rooting for the partnership. Well, they walked away from you. They play games. They listen to these people. Yeah, outdated opinions. Exactly. Out of touch, closed minded. Yeah, very out of touch with reality. Top mood. Orbiting. They want to know how you're feeling and what you're thinking. They're, they've been watching you on social media, too afraid to even approach you, feeling stupid. Yeah, because they're starting to realize that you were the blessings. They weren't. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy.